If you want to edit a YouTube video after you publish on YouTube studio using your mobile, I just show you how you need to do properly. So first you need to open the browser you usually use. It may be Safari, Google Chrome or Opera Mini, anything. You just need to open the browser or now I just open Google Chrome and just click this new tab. Then click this search bar and just type studio.youtube.com just like that and search then long press over this first link youtube studio then click open in new window then click the tabs icon and open the new tab for me it is directly enter into this site if it shows open app or continue to YouTube studio, you need to choose the bottom option continue to studio. Then you can see this site. If suppose it doesn't look like this, click this three dots and click desktop site. Then definitely you can see the same. Then if it shows sign in, you just sign into your YouTube channel. For me, it's already signed in. Then use your two fingers and zoom like this and click here at the top and switch account if you want to change the account here you can change that if you want to add another account use this add account option for now I just select this YouTube channel ok now it's changed now time to edit the YouTube video now zoom here like this and click this video player like icon this is content so here you can see all your youtube videos for now it is just one so if you want to edit this video just touch that now here zoom a bit and just click this third icon editor yeah now we came to that page so edit and apply elements get started okay this is the editor window here you can see there is a lot of options trim and cut blur audio end screen and info cards for now first let's see trim and cut just click this plus so here you can see a yeah, blue border ok I just turn on the auto rotate ok now it's better so if we click the trim and cut then a blue border will be created like this anything within the blue border will be selected so if you want to cut any starting position you just need to move like this then this remaining portion I mean this portion will be eliminated same goes here if you want to cut the end screen like that you just need to move like this and here you can see the timing so you can see you just need to move the cursor like this and play the video ok here it's end if I move like this this blue border and move the cursor and play the video so here you can clearly understand same goes here simply anything within the blue area it will be selected to publish outside of this blue line will be eliminated from the video you no need to move this to the starting point it will automatically select it so this option is for to trim the starting of the video and ending of the video so if you want to trim the video in between the timing you just came here and click new cut if this new cut option grayed out you just need to click preview then a preview video will be appeared here after you watch that video the new cut option will be enabled just click that yeah this is the new cut option so here you can see a red border will be created anything within the red border will be eliminated from the video we can manually adjust like this I mean 
you can manually adjust like this and if you tick that it will be deleted or we can use the time frame this is the starting time frame of the video to start cut and this is the ending time frame of the video to end the cut you just need to click this blue border and came to this preview window and just play let's say if you want to cut here just pause and note the timing so it's like 4 17 so it just came here and just type 4 17 just like that then ending time just play if you want to end here pause and see the timing is like 5 24 came here and just type 5 24 it's like hour minute seconds and microseconds for me it's just a seconds video so it's seconds and microseconds i mean time frames so this is it now if i click tick then the cut will be happen like this so it's selected here you can see so you just need to tap this delete and delete cut that's it it will be cut out let's preview the video preview okay it's done so this is how we need to do if you want to increase the time frame you can use this slider just like that then this option is for redo and undo you can also use these features and you can add many cuts if you wish so this is it then just click save you just need to read this and click acknowledge and confirm changes so here you can see video editing is in process it, so it takes time like two three hours to replicate on your videos in case if you want to reward this you can change that at any time on youtube so here you can see the new rendering was going on the edited rendering okay it's done so this is it and if you want to know more videos about youtube watch these videos